the Texas Land Commissioner. That position does more than you think. It manages the Alamo public land and beaches and distributes disaster recovery money, among other things. The incumbent is Republican George P. Bush. He left the seat to run for attorney general. This morning, we start with a Republican who wants to be a successor. Dr. Don Buckingham here, an eye surgeon from outside Austin. Dr. Buckingham, welcome to the program. Let me ask you a basic question out of the gate. Why does a physician like yourself want to be Texas land commissioner? Well, you know, actually, the general land office runs veterans nursing homes, which runs right up my alley as a physician. Additionally, as a physician, you know, what I do every day, people come to me with their problems. And we find a way to fix their problems, which is all of what the general land office is about. We fund education. We do disaster recovery. Like I said, we have several state veterans programs we run. We're the guardians and stewards of 13 million acres of state lands. And I also come from a rural background, so it's right into my skill set. And we are very excited about the opportunity to serve. Well, let me ask you, a Republican is vacating this office, as, as we all know, George P. Bush. Are, are there any specific changes you want to make if elected on day one? You know, I think there are large parts of the agency that are doing really well. I feel like the disaster recovery, whatever's going on there, you know, the folks down in the Houston area who are five years out of Hurricane Harvey don't feel like they've recovered enough. And whether that's general land office or local issues, we want to be sure that the people who need resources and need help get it. That's what we're going to work on. Well, on your website, I want to ask you about that. You show a picture of Buffalo Bayou in downtown Houston as it's flooding. Uh, and your predecessor was criticized, uh, your potential predecessor. I'm getting ahead of myself here, Dr. <laughs> Buckingham. Uh, but George P. Bush was criticized for withholding disaster funds uh, and giving them to, to rural counties farther inland than Harris County. How would you do it differently if presented with the same, same situation? You know, what we need to do is look at everything. We need to build a collaborative approach with our local officials because, you know, the, the recovery in a disaster, of course, is everything from your smallest mayor uh, to the federal government. And so we need to find a way to coordinate those resources. And again, my focus is that the people who need help get it. And Dr. Buckingham, you also talk about investing in coastal infrastructure. And one of the things scientists say that would really do this is a coastal barrier program, kind of like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, New Orleans has that the Ike Dyke is what it's called um, down in the Houston area. It, it will stop storm surge. It's shown that it's done that in the New Orleans area, but it's expensive. Thirty one billion dollars. Do you support that? You know, I was a part of that legislation and a funding mechanism passing in the Senate. I'm glad to be a part of that. We know how incredibly important our coastline is, and especially the Houston Ship Channel and the port there. Uh, if we ever got a big storm right up the Ship Channel, we would be in a world of hurt. So we're excited about that. The, we'll look at the different funding mechanisms. I understand there's some federal dollars coming that way. and We look to partnering, um, you know, with the engineers working on that project and getting it done. Well, in June, as you know, Dr. Buckingham, Congress approved the plan, but there were five Texans, uh, Texas Republicans who voted against it. Congressman uh, Pat Fallon, Lance Gooden, Troy Nails from Fort Bend County, Chip Roy from Austin, and Van Taylor from Collin County. W were those five in, in the wrong for voting against something that would protect Texas? You know, I haven't had a chance to talk to them about why they voted that way. Um, so who knows why that was, but we're looking forward to being a positive influence on that project and hopefully getting it done and protecting our coastline. And the big question is, is when, and I know Texas is relying on federal money to pay for this since it's so expensive, but, but realistically, er every six months, uh, you know, Houston really kind of gets anxious because of, of what happens in the Gulf with hurricane season. How long might it take to get something like this up and going? You know, I wish I had a crystal ball that could give me that answer because we've been talking about this coastal barrier project for a very long time. But again, like I said, our goal is to get in, be a positive influence, be collaborative in nature. It's how I've served in the Texas Senate and get the project done. Dr. Buckingham, your uh, Democratic opponent, Jay Kleberg, says that, that you refuse to debate or meet him at uh, any event where, where he is present. I, is that the case? And, and, and why wouldn't you appear side by side and compare <laughs> ideas against him? Uh, that is simply not the case. Uh, we have not received any requests to debate. You know, we run a very busy schedule, but, you know, so I don't know what he's referring to on that front. And for voters who aren't as familiar with, with the duties of this office, which we just discussed, and, and the GLO also handles the, uh, the Alamo as of about 11 years ago, too, uh, takes care of that. But, but how are you most different, would you tell Texas voters, from your opponent, Jay Kleberg? You know, there's a clear difference in the candidates in this race. My opponent is a Green New Deal activist. 
you know, you start shutting down oil and gas on state lands, like the federal government has done on federal lands, and you see devastation across our economy and hurting our families that are economically disadvantaged the most. Um, and so several differences. One, we are gonna be sure that we keep our energy independence. We wanna be sure that we're helping our families who need the help the most. Um, and uh, yeah, so there, there are a lot of differences. You know, one is on education. We're a big funder, not just of K through 12 education, but also the permanent university fund. And so just being sure that our students have the resources and the funding to, to be sure we're doing the best we can for our kids and their education. Dr. Buckingham, thank you very much for the time. Thanks so much. You have a great day.